Hi, welcome to a quick tutorial. This is a very uh, handy tutorial and we need this often when we need to read and write from the files. So here I'll show you quickly how you can write a file using different types like a CSV tab separated and all and also read the files. So right now I have a data set. Let me see this data set available. So this is the cars data set. So let sh me show you how I can write this to us to a file. So first we'll write this data set to a CSV file. So there is a write to CSV and these, these are the syntax for this file. So first we see here, it takes the data set. So I'll put empty parts and then it asks for the file name. So where I'll say empty cards.csv. By default, uh, write.csv automatically considered as a CSV format. So once I write to it, so it's, it's already get written. So we can see dir now we have in our folder one file which is a csv format so this is our csv file so i can right click open in edit plus here you see this is a comma separated file now we can also do this in a many different format so but there is a different function for it let's see if you want to write this file to a tab separated format. So there is another function available. Dot table. Again, we just supply the cards and we show you the syntax for this as well. So you just press, select the mouse or cursor over it and just press F1, which will open this help window. Here you see, this is the file name. Again, almost the same syntax. We'll give the same name, MTCARS, but this time we'll say as a tab separate, which is a TSV tab separated. Here we have to provide the separated, like this slash, so it's a tab separated. So let's run this, okay, it's done. So now we'll see Again, now we have another file, which is a tab separated file. So here you see, so let me open this one as well. So here you see, we have a file created as a tab. Separate. Similarly, you can create also a pipe separate file. So just replace this with a pipe. I don't want to show you, but you can explore yourself. So it's pretty handy and fast. So next suppose if we have to read some file so how to read some uh, read a file so to read a file so we to read dot csv let's try to read our csv file back but now we store this to a different uh, result data set, variables so here you can see the syntax is file let me open this in a window So here you have example as well. So we give our file name, which is read.csv, which is, is a file and header if his header is true. Okay, so the, our file is, let's try to read this CSV file. And we'll give header true. Let's save this to in some variable. It's a data frame variable. So we'll save this. And now we see, so this file is already read it and 
the variables created let's see what's inside is it the same what we have so first see it's this data set ds as you can see it has a similar variables let's open this we can double click here it will open as well exactly the same as what we have so it's loaded into the data frame and we can view this file so this is a ds which we read from the file and this is our earlier data set which we had in the memory so basically almost looks exactly the same it has 32 observation and some n variables as well okay here is a car now if you're wondering why we have here 12 variables and here we only have 11 variables once you notice when we read the file it will create as an index column in our data set so that's why it count as one extra otherwise from x to here it's both are same so that's pretty much it for this tutorial and thanks thanks a lot